I was just talking to Ellen here at the Dog and Oyster Vineyard where we stopped. This is their normally where they would do their tastings, but now with COVID, they have a nice outdoor setting where you can taste. They are dog friendly because Cookie and Callie are right out there with us at the table. And uh, we'll be featuring what their wines are, their charcuterie, there's a little bit of their product. And of course I will do the what three words at the bottom for you guys to find the location distinctly. Ellen's been very helpful telling me about the history. So I'm gonna tell you the story about the corkscrews here in a little while too. So why don't you come along with us and see what we see at the Dog and Oyster Vineyard in Irvington, Virginia. <laughs> Oyster Vineyard, which is here in Irvington. It's part of the Virginia Oyster Trail as well, and the Wine Trail. This is their, their wine list. You can pause it for more information. So this is our tasting. And they've sold out of their whites. So these whites, as well as this one here, which is a rosé, are from Ingleside. And uh, they're doing this where you have the individualized glasses and they bring them out to you here uh, where they have the little tables. And then we also got the charcuterie, which Peepaw is looking into to see what all is in that. Looks like it's got prosciutto wrapped around like a string cheese. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a brie, and you've got a pepperoni, it looks to me like one kind, or chorizo, one of the other, looks like pepperoni. And then you have a salami. A salami. And there's cheddar, and then it looks like probably a Munster cheese. Yeah. And then we have crackers as well to be able to taste in between. So we should be good up, good set up, good to go. On weekends, they have their chef here, and they serve pairings that um, have some oysters and other kinds of seafood and things that pair well with their wines. This speaks a little bit about the soil and the climate here and how the grapes grown in the same area that the oysters, the local oysters are grown in to make them a perfect pairing with that. And Ellen was telling us that when they put the vineyard in here, this property here, not all of it do they own. A lot of it is leased and their horticulturist had them dig down and about six feet deep, they ran into a huge supply of water which would have been really bad for the vines and so they put in a drain system like a French drain that actually drains it out across the road right over there where you see the trees and um, then they have a sand mix then that makes the grapes put their um, roots down even deeper into the into the ground so that was interesting uh, one other thing is that the people that they lease from 
uh, changed their minds about or were undecided about what they wanted to do with uh, leasing the property. And they used to have rescue dogs here where they brought them out in pairs and uh, they, the rescue organizations supplied uh, heated and air conditioned places for the dogs to live in. And they basically kept help keep the deer and everything out of all of the vineyards and uh, people were able to come and walk through the vineyards, meet the dogs. They were, you know, people friendly and uh, feed them and things like that. But they have since had to move them to other locations. And so they've all been relocated, um, but they are in transition looking for how they will supply local grapes and uh, they're working on that plan. One of the things to uh, be aware of is that at the Dog and Oyster Vineyard, they are very dog friendly and they bring your pups water and a biscuit treat while you're there doing your tasting. When we were there, they were very uh, limited on the supply of their own wines, but they were uh, partnering with another vineyard, which we talked about in our tasting section of the video. And uh, they are in a time of change right now with the land lease where they grow their grapes at. So they are looking for what their long-term solution for that is going to be. All that being said, it's a very nice location right outside of uh, just north of Irvington, Virginia. And it's a uh, very uh, accommodating and pleasant uh, to be there and experience that. I wish we could have been there on their slurp night uh, because it does have very good reviews and uh, you guys would probably be well worth your time of going to check that out. So it's also a location that is not only on the Virginia Wine Trail, but it's also on the Virginia Oyster Trail. So you guys take advantage of that. It's a very beautiful place. the corkscrews is that the original owner of the vineyard tried to get signage approved through the town of Irvington and all they would ever approve was a very small sign that you probably couldn't see from the road so he commissioned these two corkscrews from a yacht making company that's just right down the road and those are now the logo for the vineyard. 